What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trendy news for you today, and the headline here reads IPOB members called Nollywood actor Peter Edoche on Biafra after he mocked Biafra as being landlocked. All right, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a red subscribe button below this video now. Just go ahead, hit on that subscribe button, click the bell icon to stay updated with all our latest news and updates. All right, here are the news in details. An IPO member has given some piece of advice to legendary Nollywood actor Mr. Pete Edoche. The advice is coming after the legendary actor stated that Ibo land is landlocked. The IPP member gave Peter Doche the advice through his Facebook page. The following is his advice to the Nollywood legend actor. Niai, Peter Doche, please sir, respect yourself. Do not dare IPOB. We love you as a cultural icon, role model, good actor, and somebody who speak fluent Igbo. You got your fact wrong on Igbo land being landlocked. We were you. We merely corrected you, sir. Igbo land is not landlocked because Ubani, Boni, and Opobo are Igbo people, not Aizon. And we were as we were deceived to believe until IPOB came. Whoever in Ireland shot the video that angered you, sir, did a very good job. Any Igbo elder who think Igbo land is restricted to five southeast states stand to be corrected. It's a shame some of our leaders, some of our elders that should know better are being tutored by this fearless, vibrant generation. Your support for the threat on Wodo, who along with Ike Ekwerimado superintended Operation Python dance that cost so many lives will put you in trouble with beer friends. Those who are close to you must caution you on this issue. Sir, before you can pontificate on reciprocity of respect as obtained in Igbo tradition, you need to first undergo what parents of victims of Operation Python dance endured, the pain of the loss of a loved one. Had you lost your first son? Tony Awodo's treachery, will you regard him as an Igbo leader worthy of respect? Next time, sir, please choose your words very carefully. Some of us in IPOP are older than you. The era of condoning or celebrating or celebrating mediocrity in our land because it's coming from an older person is over for good. If you claim you are old but cannot defend your children, then you are not a father. You are an ifulefu. Respect is earned, not given. Respect is reciprocal. You are our hero and cultural icon. You will always have our admiration and respect forever. But please don't defend traitors or double into subjects that are above your station. Biafra is our only hope. Anybody toying with it will be destroyed beyond recognition. All right, guys. Um, Peter Edoche, a lot of you know him. He is a legendary Nollywood actor and a man, a man who have actually earned um, himself uh, several awards and is highly respected in the uh, Nollywood industry. You guys, but he has come under a very serious attack when an IPOB member actually scolded him. How did it all started? Last week, Peter Edoche actually um, denounced the Biafran agitation as unrealistic. He said it can never be realized and that even if it's realized, Biafra is landlocked. Biafra is, that is, when he said it's landlocked, is he doesn't have access to the sea. You get it? I think from the standpoint of view, what he is looking at is that he's looking at that uh, the Niger Deltas were not going to go with IPOB and I mean with Biafran agitation and because of that the project will suffer a very serious blow that's why he said the southeastern state that's the five 
southeastern state are landlocked you get so but it's not the first time a lot of people have been raising that issue but i think this ipob member actually had to um correct him and said that uh biafra is not landlocked because according to the guy he said that um he said yeah he said that um he said you got your fact wrong on Igbo land being landlocked and we merely corrected you sir Igbo land is not landlocked because obani that is born bunny and opobo are Igbo people not eyes on and we are deceived not eyes on as we were believed to be to believe until ipob came so the guy here this ipob member is saying that uh, Biafrans are more enlightened now that initially before they were deceived to think that IPOB members were only or Biafrans are only restricted to only uh, five states of the southeast that IPOB members Biafrans are all over the place you get so he went ahead to mention Opobo that is the Boni people you get an Obani people are also Biafrans as well, and there is access to to the sea. You get so um, there is so. But what do you guys actually think about this? There are some reactions here. Uh, I'm going to be reading this reaction. You know, this Biafra of a team have been bringing a lot of agitation. I remember when Nam Dikano mentioned the state that will comprise Biafra. Some of this state began rebelling and began denouncing you know um uh, them being included in the map of biafra they began but i think there is a there is a study i did and i discovered that biafra is even older than nigeria you get biafra is older than the entity called the entity called biafra in quote is older than nigeria i was actually given by uh the portuguese explorer when they came so they named the whole of this the, that region from the south, uh, from the south, south, Naya Delta area, you get, though there are some conflicting, you know, there are some conflicting reports about this. As I Dokobo said that the whole of that side, the Ijo, Efik, and the whole of that riverine area is what comprises Biafra. But uh, now they cannot give further explanation that it is not only that, that even extend even up to um uh this thing um um uh this place this middle belt what this can try to remember benway you know now they kind of listed benway as being one of the biafran you know states you get but however when now they kind of said this there were some uh unwelcomed comments people actually rebelled and argued against it that they are not part of biafra and this is coming from some ibibio group you know uh, some Ijo people actually uh, recanted it that they are not part of Biafra and all of that you get so so that to me will actually um, go in mean serious dialogue should actually be uh, be engaged on this issue because it's not an issue of saying I am not Biafra I am not this I am not that to me I believe that Biafra with what is coming with Biafra it's going to be even more better than what we have now what we have on ground today you get so that is it what do you guys think i have some reactions here people have actually reacted somebody says let me believe that biafra is landlocked even though i know it is not is peter Deutsche aware that israel holland zek republic etc are all landlocked is nigeria doing better is Nigeria doing better than any of those countries mentioned in any way? You see, you see what this guy is saying? This guy is saying that, let him just assume that Biafra is landlocked. You get it? That Israel doesn't have access to the sea. You get it? Israel doesn't have access. Uh, Israel is landlocked. Holland is landlocked. Zek Republic is landlocked. You get it? Though I will have to do uh, a thorough investigation about research about Israel, whether Israel is actually landlocked, because I know Israel has access to the Mediterranean. You get Israel Havana, and also to Israel past the addition through um, the Egypt Canal, the the addition uh, uh, Egypt and uh, Suez Canal. So 
um but that is yeah that is i think israel israel, israel is actually landlocked yeah it's true israel this guy is right because israel and egypt reach an understanding for israel to use the Suez. um i mean the egypt egypt canal you get so is it actually right so he's saying that is nigeria doing any better than this country that are landlocked you get so another person here says all niger delta should not answer these people or join issues with them over this perennial issue again let them wobble and swim in their self-inflicted illusion till till it's too late till it's too late for them to retrace their step they claim they were the first settlers in the country but they could not settle in a large vegetation where they could have could have an unhindered access to the ocean okay this guy is trying to attack ipob so but um there are some reactions here you have spoken where to peter doche watch naked please carry go biafra all the way another guy here says nice one my man i believe you another guy here says nice write up another person here says what i do see is that what the elders are sitting okay this guy say what i do see is that what the elders see sitting the youth cannot see standing by the way boni and opobo are not evil state so me say advisor put yourself of covetousness and anyaoku if those areas are your envisaged seaport then you are already drowned in the atlantic another guy here says oh Ugocha is your hope of Biafra then you lost since you since no Igbo land is good as Potakot. Stop claiming other people because no one is claiming your land. Everybody has everybody has the right to belong anywhere. They are like marriage. It's not by force. If Igbo land is complete as a nation, then I will advise you go with your five states, be, become your Japan and stop being a nuisance to other people. Another guy says, go right up. You have done your best. Another guy says, good one. Please, Biafra is all the way. All right. So, what do you guys think about this? I want you to drop your own comment. What's your own comment on this? Do you think that Biafra is actually landlocked? Even if it, even if it happens, Biafra is landlocked. There are some nations that are actually landlocked and they are doing well. And this guy here, in the the, the first commenter here says, commentator said that. He mentioned Holland, Zek Republic, and Israel. They are, they are landlocked and they are doing well. So, if it happens that the Niger Delta don't want to go with our brothers in the southeast, uh, our brothers in the southeast are they actually landlocked? Please, I want you to drop your comment below. Let me know what you think about this. God bless you.